I picked up a couple of things at H&M, starting off with this gray and white striped cropped sweater. This has a boxy fit and it has great voluminous sleeves. I picked it up in a size small. Generally, I wear size medium in tops, but this is an oversized fit and I do like the look of this in the size small. This is a very casual sweater that you can wear with denim or with a pair of trousers. It's very warm. It is made with synthetic material, but I do think it is a nice quality. This ribbed knit midi dress really caught my eye. I love the sweetheart detail and this detail here in front. It's really eye-catching and a very much of a bodycon style. It is midi length. I do wish it was a few inches longer, but that's okay. I can pair it with my nude knee-high boots and the color just blends, keeping that long line of monochromatic color. This is a viscose blend and it feels very stretchy. I took a chance and picked it up in a size small and it actually fits me really well. It is quite bodycon. My usual size would be a medium and if I went to go with that usual size it would probably fit me a little looser and I could be a little more comfortable. Last but definitely not least is this co-word set that I picked up in this gorgeous dark green color. This is the matching co-word midi skirt. It's very form-fitting and bodycon in style. Again, very stretchy, just like the knitted dress was. This is cropped and short sleeve, but they meet right at the waistband, so you don't really have to show any skin if you don't want to. If you did want to make this skirt longer, you can just pull it down to a lower waist. This has long sleeves, and it has a little cut here at the end of the sleeve. I really love how this looks. Today's my birthday and usually on my birthday I like to do some self-care pampering treatments. Things like a mani and pedi or a hydrofacial. These are things that I don't do on a regular basis. Mani and pedi because I work in the food business and technically you're not allowed to have nail polish on your fingernails when working in a food industry, at least here in Southern California. So I do avoid that, but I do like to treat myself every once in a while. And a hydrofacial, I just don't do regular treatments. I wish I I could. I wish I could afford it. I wish I could afford the time and I just don't do it. So I try to do it when I have a special occasion like my birthday. I could not get into a spa today so I will do my hydrofacial on Monday and I'm going to head in to a nail salon that my friend recommended and get a mani and pedi. Happy birthday, beautiful Maria. Happy Channel 4 and Scooby Doo on Channel 2. Oh, yeah. I love it, 
you guys. <laughs> Couples escape 60 minute massage. Just finished with my facial and I feel like she really cleaned out the pores around my nose and my chin. Those are my two biggest trouble spots. I'm always leaning on my chin like this or like this and I feel like I'm constantly congesting up my skin in that area. So a nice little clean out and my nose I feel always gets little black dots as much as I scrub and scrub and scrub so I think it really helped I'm gonna try to do it more regularly dinner for my husband's birthday. Say hi, honey. Say hi, friend. Hi. I don't know if I'm catching you. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Brad. Happy birthday to you. And many more. On channel four. Yeah. There's yeah. only one left. Uh, channel two. <laughs> do you do a lot of these flavors for weddings? This is not the most popular flavor, but I get so excited when people order it because it's just Great. so unique. It's a it's a chai cake. It has a little bit of apricot in it. I love it. Um, this little crunchy layer yeah. is a um, hazelnut chocolate and crispy chips that are like um kind of like cornflakes but it's oh. it's called fuyatine. This is really tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I approve. Us too.